Hey guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'll be discussing about epicyclic gears and in the description tab I'll be putting up links of two other videos uh, which will basically help you in explaining how you can construct these spur gears and also I'll be putting up all the formulas that are involved here. So first of all let's go with the naming of these. This is known as the sun gear, this is known as the planet gear and the analogy basically comes from the fact that since all the planets basically revolve around the sun so the axis of this gear is basically revolving around the axis of this so this is known as thus the planet gear and this is known as the sun gear this arm is known as the planet carrier and now i'll be discussing how you can create this assembly so first of all just let me hide up these components okay now uh, what you first of all have to do is that the degree of freedom of the system has to be reduced to 1. In order to do that first of all on the top plane uh, you can basically construct this line and make the axis of this gear coincident with this using the coincident mate option which you can find in the mate tab. Then after doing this uh, what you can again do is on this line um, select this point and make the face of this coincident with this using the coincident mate option so it will only have one degree of freedom and will just be able to rotate like this uh, then I'll be just bringing up the second gear now here uh, you will have to basically use the distance of mate option which you can which is this one uh, this is basically in order so that the axis the distance of this axis of the planet gear and the axis of the spur gear the distance between them basically is fixed and uh, therefore it only can rotate like this and also uh, the fact that the face of this gear has to be made coincident with this one so that it, it it's not able to basically move out of the plane uh, that is in this or this direction it will be only be able to move in this plane like this and after doing this we'll be basically bringing up the axle part so here uh, this hollow region of this uh, planet carrier has this its axis has to be made coincident with, with the axis of this planet gear and similarly can be done for this part as well so after doing this uh, we'll go to the motion study tab and uh, basically have three solid body contacts uh, between each and every part and the important thing is uh, the degree of freedom of this system is basically 2 which implies the fact that uh, if you basically give two inputs then you will have an output so say if I give an angular speed to this planet carrier and give an angular speed to this gear then I'll have the output in th the motion of this gear and uh, similarly you can just select any other two components as well so I have applied a rotary motor which gives about 10 revolutions per minute to the planet carrier and ab about 50 revolutions per minute to the sun gear. So click on calculate and play the motion. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave comments below and in the next video I'll be uh, showing a tutorial on open differential of a car and then explaining what basically happens there. Thanks.